Hello, uh, welcome back to Surface Noise. I am John. For this week's uh, video, or today's video, I will be showing off my uh, collection of Pixies records. Uh, and uh, we'll get started in just a sec. Uh, just to say, uh, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers for subscribing. I appreciate um, all the support. And uh, eh, for everyone, uh, if you enjoy this and like the videos I make, um, please like, subscribe if you wish, and uh, I appreciate appreciate all of it. Thanks, thanks so much. Uh, this is a lot of fun to do. So, thank you for uh, making it worth my while. Awesome. Okay, so let's uh, let's get forward here with uh, these uh, records. Uh, so first of all. Um, Start at the beginning. Uh, the version I have of this is not at the beginning, but Come On Pilgrim and Surfer Rosa were the first two records that the Pixies did. Um, I don't have the original, but they did do a three disc set of that they called uh, Come On Pilgrim and Surfer Rosa. That's that right there. Um, you can see the back of it there. That's actually the uh, Come On Pilgrim cover. What I showed at the front. The front of this is actually the Surfer Rosa cover, but I won't show it too long because there is some nudity on that. But um, it's a nice, it's a nice package. Little, uh, you can see the sort of thick. Um, and these are classic records. I'll just pull out the actual records for you to take a look at. No, and. Uh, the third record in this was a uh, live recording from the Fallout Shelter. This was recorded in, I don't know, it has the date on it here. It's at the University of Massachusetts. Uh, 1986 was the recording. So, first off, this is Come on Pilgrim. This is the inner sleeve for Come on Pilgrim for this. Uh, version of it. And this is uh, right there you got your uh, sort of goldish label here. And uh, it's on 480, which is always a cool looking label. I always love their labels. Um, yeah, so this album features uh, songs, uh, The Holiday Song, Caribou, um, I've been tired. Those are some of the Nimrod Sun. Those are some of the notable songs. I think that uh, Pixies fan, at the very least, or even general fans, would probably uh, be familiar with. I think. Um, and those are very good. All the records are good, by the way. Pix I like everything, for the most part, everything that I've had uh, from the Pixies. So I cannot complain. So this is the come on our Surfer Rosa part of the deal, right there, and that's the back side of that one. And again, this is pretty much the same vinyl. It's just the label itself is a little different on each record. But uh, I do think there was a slightly more expanded version. I have the three discs, but I think there may have been one that was more of a box set, but I couldn't say for sure. So Surfer Rosa has such songs as Bone Machine, Break My Body, uh, Gigantic. Gigantic was kind of a big song, I think, that a lot of people knew, has Kim Deal singing um, on that one. River, River Euphrates, Where's My Mind? If you ever saw Fight Club, you heard that song at the end. Um, uh, another one, um, you've got, uh, the Pony theme is kind of fun. It's not, <laughs> I don't know if it's famous, but it's kind of fun. Uh, Vam Vamos, I'm Amazed. Those are all really good tracks on here. Um, and again, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal record. And a nice package. I'm really glad they did that. I, I do think they may have done something for Bossa Nova as well. I'm not sure, but. Uh, this is the live record. Uh, it looks kind of similar to uh, Surfer Rosa there. Um, like that and like that. 
Um, this, I believe, this features songs from both of those albums, including actually this. Even though this is from '86, it also includes Subculture, which actually didn't come out till Trump Lamont. But I guess it was a track that they had kicking around for a long time that they did live. Um, but yeah, th this basically has songs uh, from both uh, Surfer Rosa and uh, Come On Pilgrim. That's that one. So that's um, the first two records, basically. And from there, now I'm going to move on here to... What is this? Actually, I'm going to show you this. This one, yeah. So this is actually a single, 12-inch single from uh, Surfer Rosa, I believe. There's the back of it. I believe this is an import as well. Let me just double check. Yeah, this is a UK, so you can see. Kind of see this here. You got the baby right there. And the label right there. Uh, this one is, this This is the single for Gigantic, um, and it also features River Euphrates, I believe that's a live version of that, and Vamos and Heaven, which was a, a B-side, which I think is a cover actually, yeah. Oh, it's a David Lynch cover, <laughs> P. Ivers, David Lynch. So, um, yeah. So that's a, yeah, UK Press, 12-inch single from, for a song off of. Surfer Rosa, gigantic. So next up, I'll show off. Now this is um, first full length album I got. This is and this is still the original one I bought way back. This is Doolittle, um, still in okay shape. The cover's a little rough around the edges, but um, I got this used way back. I think in I don't know 1990 or something. Um, but it's it's pretty sweet. And again, it's this is still the original, so this is this is a fairly old pressing. <laughs> it's that there. Plays great. I managed to keep it in decent shape. So it always sounds good as well. Be careful. I'm be careful I don't wreck it now. Um, see here. Okay. And this actually comes with a nice booklet, actually. With all the lyrics, I believe. So no, I haven't opened this thing for so long. Yeah, so this has some cool pictures inside, like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool for like, this was like 87? No, 89 probably. Monkey God to Heaven. Um, yeah, some more pictures inside. This is a great package. I don't know if they still, I mean, if the pressings they do now, I don't know if they have the booklet or not. I haven't haven't heard there's more I might as well show you the whole thing there you go there's that part there and there's that right there and finally you got that there yeah so Doolittle oops Doolittle uh, does have a number of, as usual, a number of stellar tracks on it um, that you may be familiar with. The Baser, fairly well-known song, Tame, another one. Wave of Mutilation, um, you may have uh, heard it on this, or you may have heard the, there's another version that is, I think, came out on a uh, single, 12-inch single. Uh, it's called UK Surf with a mutilation. It's a slower. This is a fast version on here, but they got a slower version. Um, and they actually used that version in the film Pump Up the Volume, which may have been the first time I heard the Pixies without even knowing that it was the Pixies. Um, other tracks on here, uh, Monkey Gone to Heaven, another fairly famous song. Here Comes Your Man. Um, those are great. Uh, and... Um, on the other side too, uh, a lot of great songs, but the one, I think my favorite track on here actually, and it's near the end, is Gouge Away. I think that's a great, well-written, catchy, catchy rock song. So uh, I can even see where the sticker was there, if you look closely. I obviously tore off the sticker without uh, thinking that I was wrecking it, but I kind of like did a little damage on that. But, oh well, what can you do? 
Next up, um, this is actually the first record I ever bought. This was of theirs. This was a 12 inch single. And this was the 12 inch for Here Comes Your Man. Um, and that is uh, got features Here Comes Your Man, Tame, Manta Ray, Weird at My School, and Dancing the Manta Ray. Um, I had never, this is a, a UK, uh, not UK, this is a uh, um, Canadian pressing, 4AD, um, and uh, yeah, there's uh, some, uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, so this was, anyway, this is the first thing, this was a complete blind buy for me back then, I had heard the name of the Pixies, but there was a lot of bands, and back then there was no internet, <laughs> you couldn't just stream it, you couldn't just find it online, you had to guess that, you know, you hear that this is good, or you're hoping it's good, there's a lot of P-bands I remember at the time that I was interested in, um, like I'd start with the letter P that is um, and this was I just this was I would randomly buy stuff at the time I remember just totally just like I gotta check it out that's why I ended up with a lot of 12 inch singles because I you know spending the full amount for a record was not always my favorite thing to do okay next up we have Bossa Nova um, and I, when I originally got this, this was probably the album that actually really got me into the Pixies, though. Even though I had those other two, before that I had the "Here Comes Your Man" and uh, uh, "Do Little Albums," and I'd listen to them. But this one seemed to like when this album came out, it seemed to really do the trick for me. And uh, I, I remember in particular, I like "Is She Weird," um, but overall, I mean, it was just a solid. This is a solid record. Uh, I believe this is another UK press that I picked up. Um, originally I had the CD. I might still have the CD somewhere, I'm not sure, but but uh, I decided to get as much vinyl off the Pixies as I could, so there's that. And aside from Issue Weird, which I don't think was even a single, <laughs> but I think the singles on here were um, Dig for Fire, and Valoria, actually. I think those are the two singles. But Cecilia Ann, first track, rock music, Allison, Issue Weird, All Over the World, Down to the Well, The Happening, everything. This is a great, all top to bottom, awesome record. You know, And I was very well, well into this band at that point. Completely obsessed, to be honest. Next up oh, is what for a long time was their final record, the Pixies' Trompe Le Monde. Um, and this is the tour I actually saw them on. So, And this is, this is basically my favorite record of theirs. Right there you see the back. This is uh, just a standard kind of black pressing, but I only got this recently to be honest, but I just had to have it. You know, I got to get all the records that I need in the collection there. Right there. Um, and as far as this goes, I mean, the first track I heard off this was of uh, Planet of Sound, of course, uh, which was the first single came out before. I didn't even know there was an album coming out when that single came out. And I did have the 7 inch at one point, but again, I don't know what happened to that either. Um, yeah, Planet of Sound, UMass is another good song. Palace of the Brine is really good. Alec Eiffel was another single. Uh, Head On, a cover of a Jesus and Mary Chain track. It's really good, really powerful um, version of that song. Um, and uh, Subculture, like I mentioned earlier, uh, that they performed live way back in 86. And this is, they finally put it to wax, or, put it, or finally did a proper recording of it. Um, yeah, and uh, those are the songs that really stood out to me on this. So this is Trump Lamont, and it's awesome. And um, that was 92. After that, they didn't really, weren't really around. It went Frank Black, went, did his solo stuff as, as Frank Black, Black Francis. The Breeders came deal with and did that thing. 
Um, it wasn't until I don't know how long later, what was it, like 16 years later or something, that they finally did a reunion camp tour. But then eventually they started doing some more writing and recording. Some songs came out. I like some, not others. I didn't buy the early. There was a couple of records that they put out that I listened to, but I never ended up purchasing them. They just, they were just, for me, they were just okay. They sounded like decent music, but not really Pixies music so much. Until um, this last album came out, and this is Beneath the Eerie. This to me sounds like a Pixies record, very much so. Um, this even looks, I mean, I love, it still has a classic look to it. If you look at the, the titles, it looks the same as the old uh, Trompe Le Monde and, uh, or, or like uh, Surfer Rosa, the, just the lettering and everything about it. Um, it's got a nice inner, it's a nice gatefold. It's pretty sweet. And there's uh, some nice little things. They got lots of nice artwork on the records as usual. That's one very cool thing about this band. There's that there. And this, the, yeah. Okay. This comes on white vinyl. So, pretty nice. Pretty cool. Nice. Um, the big, I think this, the only single I'm aware of on this was um, Graveyard Hill. Um, but the whole record is is great um this is this is worth picking up if you're a casual pixies fan i'm sure if you're a diehard pixies fan you already have it but uh, yeah, 2019 so this is from a little over a year ago but yeah i definitely recommend this this is this is a great uh sort of indie rock record or whatever it sounds it sounds to me like what i remember the pixies being when i first heard them so this is why i really really enjoy this so so um that's it. That's my Pixies records, like my collection. I um, uh, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing what I got. Uh, again, if you enjoy these uh, types of videos, you can like, and if you really like them, you can subscribe. Um, I hope uh, everyone's having a good week, and I will talk to you all again very soon.